let f be the function, f of x is equal to this piecewise function, and for when x is not equal to negative 4, f of x is equal to x squared minus 16 divided by x plus 4, and when x does equal negative 4, the function is equal to 0. And which of the following statements are true? So let's look at these one at a time. And the first statement says that the limit as x approaches negative 4 of f of x exists. And for a limit to exist, the limit as x approaches negative 4 from the left side of the function has to equal the limit as x approaches negative 4 from the right side of the function. So let's evaluate this limit here. So we'll take it from the left first. So x approaches negative 4 from the left side of x squared minus 16, which I'll rewrite as x plus 4 times x minus 4, since this is just a difference of two squares. This is divided by x plus 4. You notice we can cancel out an x plus 4 in the numerator and denominator. So we just need the limit as x approaches negative 4 from the left of x minus 4. And if I put in negative 4 here, or a number slightly more negative than negative 4, I'll get a number that approaches minus 8. And if I took the limit as x approaches negative 4 from the right side, then I would get a number that would approach negative 8. So we know that this statement is true. And because this is true, then the limit as x approaches negative 4 of the function does exist. And for number 2, we need to know whether or not the function evaluated at negative 4 exists. So all we need to do is plug in x is equal to negative 4 inside our function and see if we get a value. And when x is equal to negative 4, we use this bottom part of our piecewise function and f does indeed have a value, and that value is 0. So the function does exist at negative 4. And the last question looks at whether or not the function is continuous at negative 4. And for a function to be continuous, the limit as x approaches some value c of the function has to equal the function evaluated at that point c. So in other words, the limit as x approaches negative 4 has to equal the function evaluated at negative 4. We know that the function is equal to 0 at negative 4, and if we take the limit as x approaches negative 4, we can show that through this argument here that we used for this first question, that the limit is equal to negative 8. And since negative 8 is not 0, we know that the function is not continuous at this point. Though the function evaluated at negative 4 here, if we, instead of having 0, if this was equal to negative 8, then we could say that the function is continuous at negative 4. But since the function is equal to 0 at this point and not negative 8, we know that number 3 is not true. So numbers 1 and 2 are both correct.